got in here? There's more yuckies. All right, so we've got to make sure we check under the couch first because look at what I found. I found this. And that shouldn't get vacuumed up, okay? Okay. So if that's not yours, ask if that's Charity's. We'll find yes, out who that belongs to. That is ring. No, that's a necklace chain. No, no, don't plop it there. See if Charity wants it. Um, okay. Sadie. She's over there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's check the rest of the couch because we don't want to suck up anything that we shouldn't suck up. Okay, I'll move it. Here it comes. All right, now under the couch. No, um, okay. I'm gonna go. Okay, paper needs to get picked up. Oh, this puzzle. Oh, you found some puzzle pieces to the book puzzle we have. Yeah. Good morning. It is Monday morning, and as you just saw, we are in the middle of doing some cleaning up from the weekend because we were just kind of busy running here, there, and everywhere. We didn't get a chance to do the tidying in the house. So we're doing some vacuuming, some cleaning, some straightening, some laundry, you know, the normal Monday stuff. Mary is helping by doing we some vacuuming. We are going back and forth. That's right, you're vacuuming a little bit, and I'm vacuuming a little bit. And we got behind the couch today. Good job, Mary, thank you. We had a little tragedy. What happened, Mary? I don't know why I sucked up. Was it, you sucked up something we shouldn't have? I don't know what it is. It made a big boom though, didn't it? Yes. All right, so what are we going to do? Take out the bag. We're going to take out the bag and we're going to find out what she sucked up, okay? We'll fix it, right? <laughs> okay. We ripped the vacuum bag open and there's lots and lots of dust, but we found the piece that she sucked up. She sucked up two Empire pieces and a, a Lego. Lego. So the loss has been rescued and now we'll just throw the rest in the trash. We're hanging up the laundry while Mary was, well, Mommy was opening up the vacuum bag. Daddy came home from wor work because, as you see, Mommy couldn't get the thing on. Because well, they changed the vacuum cleaner bag, so we have a whole bunch of Kirby vacuum cleaner bags, but it's for the old system, so you have to cut little uh, notches in the new bags to get them to work. Yeah. So. I was going and to cut have, notches, but Mommy first yeah, called and you Daddy. Have to, you have to be very careful or else you cut holes in the bag, so you have to do it just right. Yeah. And then Charity is making a card for her, the, our friends at church because he is sick. He's in the hospital. He's in the hospital. Well, he's sleeping. And then where's Mommy? There's Mommy. Mommy's, I think, typing on our, our vlog or our Facebook page. Isn't it, isn't it Mommy, right, typing I'm on I'm working your on a 31 Facebook. party this evening, and so I was just contacting the hostess, giving her a few instructions how to engage with the guests and all that. Daddy put the vacuum bag back together because now he can get back to working. I was really, really trying really hard to keep art at work, but... With a vacuum, my tool that I'm cleaning breaks. I wasn't expecting Mary to suck up a um, empire piece as well. It's all better. Thank you. Little girls and Charity are making some cards That's because nice. someone that we know is really sick and in the hospital, and he asked for some get well cards. So the there girls, his wife, asked, his wife asked. So Hi. the girls are working. Hi. Hi. Writing. Hi. I hope you feel better soon. Good job. Hey, look who's up. It's Lillian and John is playing the sound man with my, uh, like a boom, you know, the sound boom. Hmm. Good luck, John. Is that what you can do? Audio visual now? No. No. I got all these happiness. Are you happy? Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? Are you yeah, happy that the, that the downstairs is almost picked up? We're working on it. My goal was to have everything in the house picked up and vacuumed before Lillian got up, but the vacuum uh, mistake kind of uh, set us back a little bit. But we're getting there. I think I'm gonna take care of feeding Lillian right now. And Charity's got the little girls under control. 
And then I've got to start thinking about lunch. Mary's helping with some dough. Little Don't work it too much. We're making fried pizza dough. Yeah. Not something I normally do. Grace is helping by doing, she's doing the pinching and putting on the powdered sugar for us. And she's also liking her water. She's playing in the water while she's waiting patiently. Keep the water in here. I don't usually make fried pizza dough for my kids, but I don't know. Charity, have you ever had pizza dough, fried pizza dough? Have I ever made it for you? like once. This was great grandma's, one of great fam grandma's favorite things to do. We only did it once in a while and we never bought fair dough. Oh, that's enough, sweetheart. That's enough. Okay. Mary's helping. Um, we never bought it at the fair because it was really, really expensive and you can make it at home just as good for far cheaper. And so I don't think the kids have ever, maybe I made it a long, long time ago, but I don't think they remember it. And we have that dough that Mary, remember that big wad of dough that Mary made last week? But when we cooked it, it was a little on the dense side, and I don't know if that was because of the cooking technique or because of the dough itself. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna treat my kids to something special today. Lunch is not my proudest healthy moment today, I but it. it's something I wanted to have the kids experience. So this is fried pizza dough, guys, and this is what you'd get at the fair if you went to the fair. Do they actually use pizza dough? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it's fried dough. That's just pizza dough. With yeah, on it. with just like this, so it's a little bit of powdered sugar. <laughs> We're not eating just fried pizza dough. We've got some fresh cherries, unfortunately not from our cherry tree. No, and then from our cherry tree here. Yeah, but we have some. Not quite as impressive. No, as and then we have some baked beans from and hot dogs from and some leftovers. That was a team effort today. We were in the middle of eating lunch, and this huge, huge thunder crack came through, and it was really close. But it's not raining here, so we weren't exactly expecting it. But poor Lillian got so excited about it that she um, pooped her pants. Oh, was it scary? Was it scary? So scary you pooped your pants. Hmm. It was really loud. Lily's happy. Smile for the camera. She goes, I don't know if I should smile, but I'll smile at mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, she's like, smiling. what are you doing, Peter? What is that thing? It's a camera. <laughs> There's a happy girl. Oh, it's finally oh, raining. Peter, get in here. It's coming down in sheets. It said there was a concern for flash flooding. Look at it's at the end of our driveway. Yeah, it's just flooding right in by the fire hydrant there. You know what? The, the water, the ground won't be able to take in this much water. Absolutely not. That's why they said flash flooding. John just noticed across the street that there's actually flooding over there. Even more flooding over there. Just flowing down, down the street. So if you're wondering why I look all hot and sweaty, it's because it's been in the mid 80s and almost 80% humidity, which is just, it, the air felt so humid and wet. And they told us that there was a high likelihood of heavy rains, um, torrential downpours, Mommy. severe thunderstorms. No, no, we're not gonna measure how deep the water is right now. And lots of flooding. Now, everywhere around us has been having a lot of rain all day. This is the first major rain we've had today. But it was so hot and so humid that you could just, you could almost wring the air out. All of us kids and dad are heading to the library and then one of our friends from church's house to drop off the cards and the um, cookies we made for them and at the library we're going to be returning some books and getting some new books because the summer the summer reading challenge is going to be starting I think in four days so we want to have some books so we can read. We're getting our books for the summer reading program and we have some really good ones here. Oh, you, you get a train book? No. Right. Well, what's the thing? So Grace is liking her turtle book. So everybody has their books and they are really I digging got, in. I got the bits. Elmer's what, what did you get? Oh, the bridges. Yes. Hey, Dad, look at the bear that oh. got fish. What do you have? A bear got fish. A bear got a fish? Yeah. Oh, in Alaska. Yep, bears do get fish in Alaska quite often. No, no, I'm no, going to go to turtle. Alaska. You don't? I'd love to go no, to Alaska. No, no, because bears, I hate bears. Now Grace wants her train book. 
She loves trains. I got a book on how to take pictures. It's for nursing. It's like a test. I don't know what you call it. Like a test prep book for. Um, it's a practical nurse, and that's sort of what I wanted to do. So I figured I'd check that.